Good morning guys. I am chilling in the playroom this morning. The girls were sleeping in and I was loving it. I never get any time in the night to relax because I'm always editing but in the morning I'm able to just sit here and read and I'm all cuddled up with a blanket. Gabby just woke Found up it. though. She came downstairs. Say hi Gabby. Hi. Say hi clearer because nobody gets to see you. She's She's busy getting her calendar open. And I hate this candy because it has like the strange feeling. What's that? What's that on your face? Oh, man. <laughs> what is it? I woke up this morning. I found her on her computer. There was a picture of Elfie in Gabby's bed with her and in Sylvie's bed with her. And he had a big marker in his hand and I think he drew a little mustache. He does that every single year and Gabby always gets so upset when that happens. Hideous. You're hideous? What do you mean? What's yours, Gabby? I washed it off. What happened? Elfie drew on mustache. With permanent marker. Elfie drew on your face? I don't know. I, I I wonder how she saw it. I don't even know if I got that. I might have missed it. Shoot. Sophie came downstairs and she said, She oh, has a mirror in the bedroom. So we're, it's behind her door and her door was closed. I saw what you think happened. She saw it in the mirror. Sophie saw her. Scappy just was walking around like a regular girl. Minding her own business. <laughs> it's so funny. I want to see the pet trucks. Yeah. Oh, look, I got Sophie. I can still see your beautiful mustache face. Let me see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so this is what Elfie was up to last night. He left pictures on our computer, and he was like, ha-ha, what should I do? I have a marker here. What should I do? And what did he end up doing? Climbed yes. right in bed with Gabby and with Sophie. <laughs> and there's another picture of Sophie. <laughs> She's like... Look at your hands look dirty. Did he color your hands too? <laughs> no. It's just the way of the lighting. <laughs> so cute. Get it off? No, no, you still have a mustache. Because I read the marker that he had and it says uh, fine tip and permanent marker. <laughs> what a crazy elf. You're permanently going to have a mustache. She got hung off. Yeah, it was soap. Sophia refuses to do it. Anyway, it's Thursday, the girls are already working on homeschool, or at least they're supposed to be working on homeschool. I am getting my chores done, which is laundry what? and dishes and vacuuming and that kind of stuff. What? Hard walk. You want to watch the video? So every day we have to sit down together as a family and watch our video. So Gabby's helping playing big sister here, helping Sophie get her mustache off. Because this is what I did. And I heard them saying that they're not going to fight ever until January because it's almost Christmas. Because like, Elfie's here. Yeah, and so they're not going to fight at all. They don't fight a lot, but they do argue every once in a while. And it usually involves Sophie saying, stop it. And Gabby saying, Ugh. Right? Is that how you guys fight? Wait! And look, you guys dressed it's the same together. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought you were almost the same size as Gabby, Sophie. Look at Sophie. You've had a growth spurt. What? Turn around. Back to back. Oh, side to side. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Because <laughs> no. you're still a whole head shorter than Gabby. No, I'm not. Even with tippy toes. Yeah, you are way, Gabby's way taller. But Gabby, you almost look like you're not growing. Well, maybe you're growing more. I don't know. I can't tell. I made this little neck thing this little uh what's it called i forget um, there we go a couple of years ago i just crocheted it together and i want one but in black just plain black i want one but in black just plain black and when i'm cold literally because it just slides she over top of you she loves black just like me when i am freezing cold and i just can't get warm i throw See, it on it only covers the top of me and literally it warms me up so fast I can't believe it and then I can just take it off. I like it, it doesn't mess up my hair, it doesn't like, it's just easy on and off. I found these things at the dollar store. Actually Sophie found them at the dollar store. You guys see them? 
these things. It's a bath bomb. And it's a bath bomb. And it is so super cool. And they smell really nice. I can't wait to try them. When she goes out first, <coughs> she uh, goes by the door and tries to play with the dogs in the middle. Actually, I read a comment this morning that said that they didn't think Ruby should be in a crate all night because it's too long of hours. Um, and, well, and I agree, but we have to get her used to it. Uh, she, because when we go out, like to the barn for a couple of hours, she needs to say, okay, I'm fine in my crate, I'll just wait. Yeah, she eats all of our, she goes into the pantry and eats all of our food. We've been going grocery shopping like every other day because she keeps on getting yeah, out. and dad sorted the pantry, come see. Anyway, she has been breaking out of her crate. She's been breaking out, I can't even believe that she's doing that because she opens the crate this much, she pries the bars apart and then she scooches out. So, um, not. Um, That's why she's skinny. So yesterday morning, we woke up to her walking into our bedroom and we're like, okay. So she must have climbed out and she wanted to be with us and she just laid down on the rug beside our bed and went back to sleep until we woke up. So then we were like, okay, let's try her out at night and see what happens. And remember when we got her, she was not potty trained and she did fabulous last night. She laid on the bed beside Sam on the floor or she laid on the floor beside um, Sam's side of the bed and she just slept there all, entire, all night. But then when I got up this morning, she was barking, and I was like, oh, shh, don't wake up the girls. But it turned out okay, so I'm pretty sure that at night she's going to start sleeping in our room. Which, she'll be sleeping in my room. She'll be sleeping in our room. Mm -hmm. my she'll room. be sleeping our in room. whatever room my she wants. Room. Our room. She can she's... even fall downstairs and go in her own bed if she wants. No, because we have to watch her so that she doesn't go and pee. Mm -hmm. That's the hard part, is that she we have to watch her when we're sleeping and make sure she doesn't go and pee someplace. So we always have to have like one sleep with one eye open when she's in our room, but last night she did okay. Last night you did okay, Miss Ruby. You might not know where we are right now. Where are we, Gabby? My sunroom. This little room. This little room. It goes right off of Gabby's room, and we just have junk and some schleich in here, huh? Mm -hmm. So we also some have a day bed. And a, we have what? a trundle day bed. And a TV, just in case she wants to hang out here. But what, what's wrong with this room? Why don't we hang out here? Because my sunroom. Cold too. It's cold. Are you freezing out here? It is freezing out here. But what you guys don't know is that Sam and I have a top secret Christmas surprise planned for this room. Anyway, it may or may not involve Schleich because it Santa, better not be the Schleich room. Well, Good. Santa's probably gonna bring Schleich. Good. Like, who knows? I mean, if that's what the girls are into, it's probably gonna happen. So we're gonna clean out this room and get it ready for anything to happen because there's, like I said, there's a Christmas surprise about to happen in this room. We need to take apart that bed. Let's put that mattress under Gabby's bed so you guys can have sleepovers. What mattress? The top mattress. <sighs> it's been a while since, <sighs> it's cold. It is freezing, come on, let's do it.
so clearly as the girls in the family we can only do so much and sam's gonna have to help take apart the bed because i don't know how to do that all right this is probably the last time you're gonna see this room gabby take a look around well it looks like this Why? because it's gonna be changed into something fun and special dog something no hi guys we are at the library right? yep the library did you know that Gabby has a channel and she's almost got 3,000 subscribers? Yeah. Almost 3,000 subscribers. Yep. All right, so uh, if you want to check out her channel, I'll put a link right up here. She does, LOL, uh, and what do you do? What channel? What do you do on your channel? Uh, I used to make normal random videos, but now I'm making um, SSO videos. Yeah, so if you want to check out her pet videos, she's got some Schleich videos there and some SSO videos there, but she's going to want to focus on SSO now for a while. And uh, yeah, so if you want to check out her videos, check out the channel. And I'll link it here and I'll put it in the description below. My channel name's always Gabby. It is freezing outside. And Gabby made me come and sit out here with her because she wants to play with the dog. So I'm stuck out here while she plays. Anyway, you guys, I wanted to ask you about Sabrina. I know I mentioned it in yesterday's video, and nobody's concerned about her weight. And I've been freaking out about her weight since, like, the first week we got her. I noticed right away that she started losing weight, and I know that that's normal because it's a new place, and everything's different. And so she started to get skinny, and then she got sick, and then she, um... The vet said to give her very little food while she was sick. So she was sick for about three or four days. And then it take that long to wean her back up to her full dosage of food. So technically she wasn't getting all of the food that she should be getting for eight days. And then she got really skinny and then I was really worried. And then now she's thinner again. Anyway, I am so concerned and I haven't really talked about it much in the videos because I feel like a failure. I feel like as soon as we got her, we did everything wrong, but I feel like most of it was out of our hands. Like, uh, I don't know, it's really frustrating. It's hard to explain. It's all the things that I can't control because I am really big about controlling all the things. Like, I'm the one that makes sure what we feed our dogs is good, and I'm the one that makes sure that our kids are healthy. And I notice things health-related so fast so I panic and I worry, but I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of her side-by-side -side pictures from when we got her to today and let you guys tell me what you think. I mean, it's only been, it's only been, not even been five weeks since we got her and she's lost so much weight. And I just want your guys' advice. So right now, right now, Fiona agrees that she has lost too much weight and she's gonna fix it. She's gonna get her up there again, but I feel like I've been worried about it for so long. So many of you guys today are telling me there's nothing wrong. Sometimes my horses do that, it's okay. But I'm gonna show you these pictures and I wanna know, honestly, what do you think? Is this too much weight too soon, too fast? Is it just a normal thing that horses go through in the winter when they move to a new place? Or, or should I be hyper vigilant and really be watching to make sure everything goes, you know, that she's eating well and that she's starting to gain weight again? Wanna go out and face the cold, but it's a really good time for a monologue. Can't let this pass. I find it hard to breathe. Anyway, I just want to say thank you for listening to that. But I've really been so worried. And I know you guys will tell me exactly what you think, and I really appreciate that. You know it's nighttime, and Sophie's walking by in her PJs, her favorite PJs. Yeah, she's cold and I'm cold. And I'm gonna go have a hot bath. It always warms me up. Oh, that's right, we're having major water problems, you guys. Our water started to trickle. We have hardly any water pressure. So Sam phoned around, had a plumber come, and it turns out that outside of our house, the city's water line is damaged and we have no water. So they have to come dig out our whole front lawn, fix the pipes, and then we're gonna have water. Hopefully it happens before it snows, and hopefully it happens soon. Otherwise, we are gonna be the stinkiest family around. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm deciding which leg wrap. All right, tell them about your game. I have a game. Uh, it's called My Horse, and horse is spelt the same as you spell horse. Um, 
And this is this game where you can like tack up your horse and so fun and um, you can enter competitions and then there's these that you have to do. Like you could buy more horses. I bought this, no I bought, yeah I bought this one, I named her Nikki. So you could buy different horses and take care of your horse and do competitions. I, I have to muck out the stall race. Get the game, you guys will totally love it. And Blockcraft, those are Gabby's favorite games right now. Blockcraft and Horse and of course Star Stables, which she is in love with. And did you tell them about your your channel? Her channel, we haven't, she hasn't made a video on her channel for a while and she she's went there awesome. today and she's so close to 3,000 subscribers. Like she could do it. If she made one more video, I bet you she would do it. What's your channel? Always Gabby. Always Gabby. And you'll know if you're in the right place because it's all about horses. Yeah. It's got a bunch of horse stuff. Anyway, comment of and, the day. No, it's a, a bunch of animal. Yeah, it's all animal stuff. Mostly horses and, but animal stuff. All right, so comment of the day it goes to Annabeth Chase. And she says, can you guys do a getting to know you video about how you and Sam met? Can this please be comment of the day? Yep, it's comment of the day. And the reason I picked it is because we have a video about how Sam and I met. I forget what it's called. I'll find the link for you, but it was super fun. Sam and I met in a very unusual way tw almost 20 years ago. Where do you live? I can drive there. Yeah, that's what and he that's said to me. creepy. He was kind of creepy, but I still liked him. <laughs> anyway, I'm also going to do my two minis, and she says, this is not hate at all, but I'm just saying you shouldn't fall in love with a horse or want to buy it just from the color of it. The color should always be the last thing you worry about. You should want to buy a horse because of its temperament and if it's healthy, not because because of a color. And keep in she mind, was super sweet too. That's why we really loved him. Keep that in mind if you want to buy a horse in the future, please. And we are going to buy a horse and thank you for your comment because I know that I made it sound like that, but if you guys have been watching for any length of time, then you will know that we do not just say, hey, I think I'll buy a horse and go out and pick one. We take forever to try and figure out what one is right for us. We would never just buy a horse because we think okay, he's beautiful. Do... But we would say, oh my gosh, I love that horse. I want to buy him because that's the kind of person I am. I always say that kind of stuff. And I did say that to Fiona. I really like him if he doesn't work out for her and upon further investigation, if he is a good fit for us, then I would be interested. But obviously we're not ever gonna buy a horse without a lot of groundwork first before um, to make sure that he's the right one for us because we have kids and our biggest priority is making sure that they're safe. So um, I know there's a lot of confusion about that, but yeah, I always talk like that. That's just how I am. And I'm gonna end today's video. No, but I could do a competition now because I took care of my horse first. Okay, so she is totally obsessed with this okay. thing. We will see you guys tomorrow when we are back at the barn. Until then, Let's have a good go. night. Bye! See you tomorrow! And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.